So far we've seen that light precipitates into CSF at the claustrum. So what happens next? Next, CSF is differentiated into two distinct potencies by the pituitary and pineal endocrine glands. These potencies are known as the black kundalini pituitary and white kundalini pineal or lunar fluid and solar fire mineral respectively. The cerebellum controls endocrine function via the autonomic nervous system and the breath via the vagus nerve supplies the power to run the entire system. Both the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems are part of the autonomic nervous system. Throughout the body, parasympathetic fibres meet with sympathetic fibres to form nerve plexuses, chakras. So the balance between these two systems improves chakra health. Remember, the divine conception, great regeneration, stands for the union of the lunar and solar germs in a purified virgin body. So let's take a look at the two potencies formed by the lunar pituitary and solar pineal. Pituitary gland, the lunar potency. The pituitary is biblically symbolized by Mary, the mother of the Holy Child. She produces the lunar seed, also known as the oil or water of life, the soul or fluid body, the silver or milk. But what exactly is the lunar germ? Let's find out. Harold Percival says, a lunar germ is made of matter of the four worlds, the light world, life world, form world, and physical world. This cryptic quote is Percival describing protoplasm in a symbolic language. Thankfully, the secret teachings of all ages by Manly P. Hall gives it to us a little more plainly. It is made of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. Its name is protoplasm. It is the structural unit with which all living bodies, cells, start life. The lunar germ moves with the lunar month, 13 moon cycles per 12 month solar year. Summary, the lunar germ is protoplasm, now known as cytoplasm, esoterically known as soma.